Welcome to the Unscripted Podcast. My name is Corby LaCroix, and the song you're hearing right now is called Great and Mighty One, available on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your music. But for now, here's your host and my friend, Aaron Conrad. Great Redeemer, God of grace. All right, everybody, welcome back to Unscripted from my studios powered by The Spot Athletics. There's a big weekend coming up, and our partners are on with us today. So, John, why don't you lead off, give us a little intro, and then, Ryan, why don't you take it after that? Sure thing. My name is John Beamer. I'm the founder of Jersey of the Hope. It was an organization I founded seven years ago in honor of my mom. We take new and used athletic jerseys and give them to hospital patients to lift their spirit. Hi, guys. I'm Ryan McNaughton, a pal with John Beamers, co-founder of the Cleveland Chapter of Jerseys of Hope, if you will, along with our, our friend, Gene Byros. Got to meet John about five, six years ago through through Gene. And really, we spent a couple of years really begging him to do work on his behalf up in the northern part of the state. And we said, listen, just give us a chance. We, we can pull this off. And I'm proud to say this will be the third event. So I'm grateful for John for believing in us. And I've really become an evangelist for this amazing organization in the process. So we're going to put this episode out very quickly because you guys have an important weekend. And we also have something important today. I don't know when people hear it or when I will get this officially up on the web and people will hear the podcast. But as of today, I don't know, Ryan, what are we doing? I think there's like 14 hours left. I, 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 my math's not so good. I didn't go to Syracuse. I go to Syracuse. So, <laughs> my math's not so good. Well, <laughs> so let's well just... listen, to be fair, I did go to Syracuse, but I did not spend much time like in the engineering hall. Or anything like that. I was in a journalism wing where math was not that necessary. <laughs> All right. We have a Mark Price autographed jersey up for auction right now. Right now it's sitting at about $450. But by midnight tonight, which is a Tuesday, February 21st. But that's not the last chance. And so why don't you guys talk about this weekend? Because there's more opportunities. And it's not just Mark Price's jersey. There's much more this weekend. So let's talk about this weekend. So. This weekend, we have a big event in Middleburg Heights. I'm in Columbus, guys, so Middleburg Heights, and it's Fathead, and it's a $50 donation, and it comes with a meal and samplers of their beer. Ryan, you could tell them about what we're auctioning off there. Yeah, sure thing. So so we kind of found the, the, the sweet spot and really give most of the credit to Gene for, for how these events go. We started a couple of years ago. And it's the middle of winter and we're like, what, what can bring people together? And, and we kind of found this combination of not only philanthropy, but food. If you're going to be stuck inside, you might as well get a halfway decent meal, halfway decent beverages on a Saturday. So I, I'm really excited. I, I would say this event of the three that we've done in Cleveland has probably the widest variety of jerseys and certainly the most unique variety in part thanks thanks to you Aaron of course thanks to thanks to Mark Price my favorite Cleveland Cavalier of all time so if folks can't get on board or inside the online auction we're going to have a second autographed jersey in person that people can bid on so we do a nice combination of silent auctions with jerseys we'll have some gift baskets and rack holes as well this year, we're going to have jerseys from all of the Cleveland sports teams. And, you know, I'm, I'm in philanthropy and I was a journalist and I'm of the belief that let someone else tell you no. So uh, I use the power of social media and the executive vice president of the Cleveland Browns, J.W. Johnson III. I just added him and said, listen, we, we have everybody but the Browns. What say you? He private message from 10 minutes later and said, what do you need? Send me information. So we're going to have high quality Cleveland Browns jerseys as well. So I, I'm really excited. There's going to be something for everybody there. My buddy who works at ESPN, Pete Genesini, he sat down an old school Mike and Mike ESPN radio jersey that I didn't know existed. So so we try to find popular. We try to find the unique and I, I'm ecstatic for what we're going to have. Yeah. And I'd like to add on to that. Just a lover sports to attend, you know, Ryan mentioned the gift baskets and it's a raffle and we've had people just come out of woodwork donating things. We have a Tito basket. If you are into Tito's vodka, we have a pasta basket. We have a Bloody Mary basket, white claw basket. So we have a lot of different things that can appeal to anybody. So you don't have to be a sports lover to attend and really have a good time. 
And I will tell you, Mark is approached, obviously, as, as you guys can imagine, he's approached by a lot of things. And just in the very short time that I've spent with him, we are approached with a lot of things. And, you know, to his credit, he doesn't do everything. This was a no-brainer right away for him. And so very much appreciate Mark signing the jerseys and being behind jerseys of hope. And again, 100% of the auction go to you guys. So what does that mean? You know, when I send you the final check, let's just say, where does that go? Just so people know like where these funds go. Cause I know, I, I already know, I know what you guys do, but just a quick understanding of what this event on Saturday and Mark's Jersey will do for you. Well, obviously depending on what that Jersey goes for, but the impact that that will make the, the rule of thumb is basically if it goes for that 450, which would be amazing, just the 450, but like Ryan says, we want it to be even higher. That would impact, that will impact about 10 to 12 kids that are in a hospital and they're lonely. So if they get a Jersey, it's about their favorite team. It lifts their spirits and make them feel so much better. Obviously there's no place like home, but if they're in a hospital and they get a Jersey, we've had nurses and doctors tell us that they wear them nonstop. Like they won't take off the Jersey. You know, sometimes it becomes an issue where it's like, you got to take off the Jersey. It's been three days. So that's the kind of impact that this kind of, this kind of charity brings to the table to, to these kids. That's amazing. And so on Saturday, Ryan, do you want to give us the details again of Saturday, the start, the end, kind of what people can expect when they get there and how they sign up, I guess, is there a sign up beforehand or no? Preferably if folks can RSVP ahead of time and we've kind of already given a, a head count, but uh, you know, folks will always restaurants and hosts will do a little more on, on the front end, expecting some walk-ins and walk-ins will be welcome. We'll fit you in. If we exceed a number, someone can have my samples and my food. I just want to right. welcome folks if that's not a problem. So, so again, we're going to have a, a great combination of, of jerseys, of baskets, of raffles to John's point. Yes. Something for everybody. Ultimately philanthropy is what it is. And if you keep your eyes on the prize and, and the good that it does. And I, I appreciate you asking John about what is the right. impact. And, and I've shared with folks, you know, my, my wife asks me all the time, guys, I'm, I, I try to, I'm probably a little too involved having a couple of young between stuff like this, Syracuse University or run their alumni association right now. And people ask, well, why do you do all this? Why do you take time off? Why do you do this? And to me, you find a way to get involved in thr philanthropic endeavors to you, right? Because if we're going to volunteer our time, talent, and treasure, they darn well better mean yeah. something to us. And what John and his wife and the team does, they absolutely mean something to me. I'm an old sports reporter, sports jerseys. Yeah. I go to Burlington at times. If I find something for three or four bucks, I buy them. I give them to John. It's here, brand new jerseys, brand new, 80, 90 bucks. I got for four bucks, put them to use. But, but then the other part is you also surround yourself with good people. And John and his wife, Monica, Dr. Tom Cormier is also on the board. You know, he's viral. He's the greatest human being ever going to meet in your life. It makes this stuff easy. And then to, to so, so that got us involved with John and his team, which has now gotten us involved with you and Mark and Unscripted. That's why you give up your time, talent, and treasure. So again, I, I can't thank you enough. This is going to be great. It's going to be a third event in Cleveland. We did an event at Catawba Island back in September and just blew the barn doors off as opposed to when it comes to dollars raised, getting the word out, great newspaper article. I talked to John and his wife. So, so I, I think, I feel fortunate. I'm on the ground yeah. floor of this and it's only going to get bigger. And I'm proud to evangelize yeah. to anybody. It's going to be great. And the irony is for most people listening, they may not realize I actually met Gene Byros in high school. It's been like, it's been a certain amount of years since three, four years. Dude, yeah. It's been a couple. And I used to listen to you on the radio. So I, I do remember you being on the radio and I'm, I'm very excited about this event. I'm very excited for the opportunity and we're really glad to partner with you guys. And I hope to be there on Saturday. Yeah, that, that'd be great. And, and we're going to have, it's going to be a great time. I mean, for 50 bucks, you're going to get fed, you'll get food. You're going to have fellowship because the folks who come are really great people at the end of the day. And you're going to have a chance to donate to a great cause and perhaps walk out of there with some incredible one of a kind items. So, I mean, look, it, it's a Saturday in late February in suburban Cleveland. I don't know where else you'd rather be. 
That's right. Is there a game on? It's a little too soon. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're, just, we're just trying to get through the last couple of weeks here. Hey. Just like your Tar Heels. We're just okay. trying to get to the finish line this year. Which, insane. by the way, hey, if the ACC tournament started today, guess what the matchup is? Well, Syracuse will probably win because I've lost all faith in my Tar Heels. Okay. All right. So what time? Let's get the details. The time, location, and everything else. So it starts at noon at Fatheads Brewery. It's in Middleburg Heights. If you drive up 71, heading up to or from downtown Cleveland, it's a massive building right before Bagley Road. So you can't okay. miss it. It's a huge space from a party room. It's $50 to enter. That takes care of your food. It takes care of your drink. Bring a couple of shekels. If you're feeling spirits, it's perhaps put a couple of bids on and just come to have a good time. It'll start at noon. It'll go to 2.30, 3 o'clock. We've got the space till 4, so we'll cleaning up. So again, the fellowship continues. We'll be there. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. So so again, noon, Saturday, Fatheads Brewery. It helps that the gentleman who's helping us do Fatheads, he's a Syracuse grad, Bill Wetmore. So hopefully he'll throw in uh, maybe some extras as well for folks who are attending. So for the new space and great bowl for, for everybody who comes out. Are you going to be there, John? I plan on being there early, setting up and, and staying late. There's a lot of people who I won't even know, which is exciting to meet new people, talk about the experience, talk about the organization and just gain more followers. I mean, I can't say enough about Ryan and Gene, you know, they, they taken it to the next level and, and really have introduced a lot of other people to Jersey Hope. And that's, that's how this has began began. It's been a grassroots effort and it's about people who are passionate about the community, passionate about helping others. And Ryan and Gene are the guys for it. And I can't be happier. Well, and Ryan mentioned something I want to, I want to ask very quickly. He said he was somewhere and saw a Jersey and he bought it and donated. I know I don't quite fit in a lot of the jerseys I used to have, or that guy that wore 23 in Cleveland, he left. And at one point I just gave it to Goodwill because I was too upset to keep it. But that to that point, some people probably have jerseys laying around the house, or if they see a jersey out somewhere, is that something that they can do too? If they can't make it on Saturday, is that another way that they can get jerseys to you to allow someone that's a big fan to be able to wear that jersey if they're going through something in the season of their life? How does that take place? Is there a way for us to facilitate that? I know I'm putting you guys on the spot because we probably didn't talk about that beforehand. Absolutely. So at the day of the event, they could drop them off. If not, they can go to our website, jerseyhope.com and send it to the address there. We also, since we're located in Columbus, we have some drop-off spots, the New Albany Library, Martinizing Dry Cleaning in Polaris. They have bins. Also, we're soliciting other businesses to put bins in their businesses. So I know we're going to ask Fed heads to do the same. So any businesses that are interested in helping the organization by doing that, we get 90% of our jerseys from those drop-off bins. Um, okay. So, and it's just like you said, Aaron, you know, someone's tired of their Baker Mayfield jersey and instead of owning it, which does no good, right. they could donate it. And, and really we found that it's really not about the player. Like when you look at requests, only a few, few select jerseys do they say, I want a Tom Brady jersey. Most of the time, it's like, I want a Cleveland Browns jersey because I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, regardless who was on the jersey. So that's really the impact that you can make is by sending in those, those jerseys that you no longer want. So I will tell anybody listening to this, if you're in Hilliard or anywhere in the Columbus area, if you don't have that drop-off box, bring it to my house. I know friends of mine have jerseys in their closet. I probably have a few I need to go through as well. Probably some Carolina ones in there that don't quite fit anymore that I was hoping to get back into one day. But if you have a jersey at your house, bring it to my house and I'll make sure that I get that to you guys as well. Uh, so I, I don't necessarily, I don't know if we could put a drop box in front of my house, but <laughs> but leave it at my front door and I'll make sure that I get that to you guys, okay? Hey, let me let me ask you, Aaron. Is there a, a dream jersey that you've always wanted and for various reasons, whether it's difficult to get price or all the above, that you just haven't got your hands on, but you'd be like, man, if I could ever procure insert name of jersey slash team, it would just 
put the biggest smile on your face and you'd, you'd be wearing it like two, three, four, five straight days. I'm not a big jersey wear guy, but so I actually, all right, let me think of two. The first one that came to mind when you were saying that is J.R. Reed. Carolina or Charlotte Hornets? Well, Carolina, Carolina. Right. I became a Carolina fan because of J.R. Reed and Dean Smith. So Dean Smith didn't have a jersey, but J.R. Reed did. I loved J.R. Reed. And the other one would be, this is going to be a controversial pick, but I would say Albert Bell. I loved me some Albert Bell. He's my favorite player ever to play for the Indians slash Guardians. And uh, yeah, I, I would take a number eight jersey. So to your point, and John, you're never getting your hands on this. Sorry, but I was a sophomore in college when Old Jacobs Field opened and I saved up my money and for the bucks, because when they went to the new ballpark, they, they redid all their uniforms. And I have the Navy Blue Cleveland Indians, Albert Bell tackle, twill, stitched, name and back with the inaugural season Jacobs Field patch wow. that I cannot believe is almost 30 years old now. Crazy. But- Still fits. So once in a blue moon, I'll bust it out. I can't donate that to either of you guys. I'm sorry. It's, it means too much to me. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> but, but that's, that's a great, that's a great pick on your part. It really was. Well, honestly, I wouldn't wear it. It'd probably be back here somewhere on the wall. That'd be great. But I honestly, I'd probably turn around and give it right back to you guys. Cause I believe so much in what you guys do. And, um, you know, if that would help someone that's in a bad spot in their life, Besides hanging on my wall, I'd much rather do that. It just means a lot more to me than that, than hanging on a wall and collecting dust. All right. Saturday is, uh, is the event and anything else we need to cover before we get out of here, guys, the website, let's go to the website one more time. Jerseyofhope.com or jerseyofhope.org. Either way, get you there. We do have Facebook and, and Instagram. So like us, follow us, tell your friends about us, share our pages. We're an open book and we just really want people to know more and more about the organization so we can help more and more kids. All right, Cleveland. All right, Columbus, anybody hearing this? I don't know where this is heard. Mark Price's podcast is number one in Saudi Arabia, by the way. <laughs> Completely random. <laughs> we have every podcast in the kingdom. It's number one. Just basketball. I'm sorry. I should in the category of basketball. <laughs> It's the number one podcast in Saudi Arabia. So shout out Saudi Arabia. I wish they would maybe make a donation. I have a feeling that auction would go even higher. But anyway, all right, guys, I got to get this turned around. I hope to see you on Saturday. Appreciate you guys so much. Appreciate what you do. And if there's any way that we can ever help and partner with you more, let us know. Thank, thank, thank you. We're grateful for it. All right, guys, we'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Unscripted Podcast with your host, Aaron Conrad. Make sure to like, share, follow, and review on your favorite podcast platforms. Also, make sure to check out my song, Great and Mighty One, on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you find your music. We'll see you next time on Unscripted with Aaron Conrad.